swung right back and we knocked him out. So that tells you all you need to know. You're, you're getting hit in the face, you're getting hit in the ribs, you're about to go down and you stand up and you fight back and you come out on top. It hasn't had to happen all year. I'm glad it, I'm, I wish it could have been a little bit different, but I'm glad it happened and I'm glad we won and now you can learn from it. Because now you know what you have. You have a team that's not gonna quit, you have a team that's gonna fight and that's special. We haven't seen it yet. Is there some small part of you as the season goes on? I mean, the back of the line, you can't see it until you see it. There's no doubt. I'm, it's one thing you're not nervous about, but you're anxious about. How are they going to respond when things are hard? And, and it was this close to turning. And that's why you can't say enough about those kids, because they fought, and they punched back, and they came out on top. How, how far did you go with Chase, these two? Is he full go, everything? Oh, yeah. He, he's been full go. How do you think about I thought he did a great job. I mean, turn on the tape. They had a tough time blocking him, no matter where we put him. I'd imagine the center was a little bit worried on those snaps, you know, on the whole the whole offensive line, plus the crowd. I guarantee you, people don't realize, I guarantee our crowd had a lot to do with those snaps. That was awesome, and we appreciate it. Um, so just fired up. How do you know when you maybe throw a change-up at the other team? I know probably some other teams haven't forced you to adjust yeah. very much, and maybe they've gone into this team. When do you know sort of change that? Well, as soon as you start getting hit with things, you always have to have answers. Um, and we always have answers, and we always have things we can use. It's just... How aggressive do you want to be? How much time's left in the game? What's the score? You got to be careful because there's give and take, you know. But you always, you always have to have answers to things that you think you can get, and then you better be quick with adjustments, you know. So I thought the staff did a good job today. Jeff, their, their last meaningful uh, offensive play was a throw to Hamler that Sean Wade broke up. Yeah. How, how, what did it mean, do you think, to Sean? And uh, well, I know y'all didn't talk about it, you know. No, we did. I, you know, the biggest thing. Well, Sean could have had that one pick, right? Yeah. So I know he was a little frustrated about that. And then Sean, Sean got banged up at one point. And, you know, I could tell he was hurting. And he was on Hammer all day, who probably had 45, 50 yards. So he was battling all day. So for him to go back in the game and finish the game, knowing who he was going to cover, taught me more about Sean Wade than I had known about him since I'd been here. That guy will fight for us, and he won't let us down. And that was a huge play of the game. And what's a quick adjustment y'all made? With Levis had some, or Levi, I call it Levi's, but Levis had some success running, obviously. Yeah, I don't want to get too detailed in the in the scheme part. We had to do some different things because it was really a different offense when he came in the game. Um, so we made some adjustments. We did some things up front and and helped at the end. Yeah. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? And second, how will you decide he has one more game you can play? Yeah, let, let, let's hold off on that one for next week. All right, just so I'm 100% sure on something. And, and again, I I just, I hope you understand. I'm not being disrespectful. Jeff, what was that last play? Rashad Barry was on the floor. Yeah. Those are the guys that we have to those are the guys that we have to I think it says, uh, what I think it does is I think it says something about the whole team and the whole culture here. And guys who work hard and guys who don't give, who don't give up. And guys who all of a sudden are playing a different position because they believe in us and they believe in Coach Day and they believe in the program and they just keep working and all of a sudden they find themselves in a position they don't even necessarily play in one of the biggest games of the year and have an impact. I mean, that's college football and that's what it's all about. And that's what Ohio State's all about. That's why this is such a great place. And I'm so happy for all those guys, and I hope they remember that forever. Jeff, what does it say about Chase that he doesn't play for two weeks and then he comes right back today and plays at such a high level as he did today? Kind of like what I said earlier. Bring me tape of a better defensive player in college football, a more dominant player in college football, and me and you can sit down and watch it together. Did you see anything with 